Silverwoods was a men's clothing store chain founded in 1894 and closed in 1992. Thank you for your comments. A native of Oakwood, Ontario, Canada, F.B. Silverwood first came to the United States in 1877 as a child and sold newspapers for next to nothing on the rough and tumble streets of New York City. He returned to Canada but came back to the U.S. at age 18, worked his way across the Pacific Northwest, and eventually arrived in San Francisco around 1886. But he couldn't find a job there and he only had $2.50 to his name. So he pawned his watch to pay for steamboat transportation to Eureka, where the Crocker Brothers store had offered him a job selling men's clothing. It was the start of a career and lifelong business partnership with fellow clothier George Edward Nagel, and it was also where Silverwood would gain American citizenship in 1892. He worked for Crocker Brothers for five years and rose to the position of manager before leaving to co-found McNamara and Silverwood Clothiers with William A. McNamara. Two years later, in the spring of 1894, Silverwood left Eureka with a plan to open his own men's clothing store in Los Angeles with the help from Nagel. The first F.B. Silverwood store opened on May 8, 1894 at 124 South Spring Street, carried only men's furnishings and had four employees and had sales of $38,000. Business was so successful that the store moved to a larger location at 221 South Spring Street that same year. The flagship store was established in 1904 at 6th and Broadway. Mr. Silverwood was a colorful character covered in the newspapers. A songster, composer of popular songs, he had written I Love You California in 1913, which would go on to become the official state song of California. The lyrics were written by F.B. Silverwood and the words were subsequently put to music by Abraham Franklin Frankenstein. The newspapers portrayed Mr. Silverwood as a big, good-hearted, genial, whole-souled fellow, wrote the San Bernardino County Sun when Silverwood's store later opened in the city. In 1920, the store moved to temporary quarters at 320 South Broadway while the old store was demolished beginning in January of 1920. A new 115,000 square foot Six-floor store was built on the site of the old one at 6th and Broadway. The new store opened on September 1st, 1920. The flagship store had departments that occupied full floors that featured hats and furnishings, to suits and overcoats, to boys' clothing, to a storeroom, general offices and alterations, and the basement for outing and work clothes, including gloves. The company incorporated in November of 1920. Employees were given shares in the company based in proportion to length of service, salary, and position. According to an article in the newspaper, every employee who sells goods at any of the stores works on commission. In the clothing department, salesmen make 4% commission. In all other departments, they make 7%. Employees not selling received weekly salaries and a share in the community pot of the yearly distribution of 20% of the company's net earnings. At that time, there were four branches, Long Beach, Bakersfield, Maricopa, and San Bernardino, plus the flagship store. F.B. Silverwood would pass away in March of 1924. In the early 1940s, Silverwoods was purchased by Hartmarks. Hartmarks Wholesale Division manufactured the brands Austin Reed, Hart Schaffner and & Marks, and Pierre Cardin tailored clothing for men, among others. It would go on to be one of the nation's largest clothing manufacturers and retailers. 
Over the years, Silverwoods would expand. They were scattered in both large and small malls throughout Los Angeles, Orange, Santa Barbara, San Bernardino, Riverside, and Ventura counties. Silverwoods had locations in malls including Broadway Orange County Center, Bullock's Fashion Square in La Habra, Topanga Plaza, the Esplanade in Oxnard, Fashion Island, the Crenshaw Center, and Century Square, among others. In the fall of 1992, it was announced that Silverwoods, which featured Taylor's men's and women's business apparel, would shut down after the Christmas season. The chain had around 250 employees at the time. It was headquartered in Santa Ana, and Silverwoods was a division of Hotmark Specialty Stores, Inc., which in turn was owned by Hartmark's Corporation of Chicago. The division had said it would close up to 18 additional stores nationwide by year's end to eliminate stores with marginal profits. Hartmark's Specialty Stores Group was the parent company of Silverwoods and Atlanta-based Kuppenheimer, which had 225 stores throughout the country. Kuppenheimer marketed Hartmark's clothing through Sears stores. One company spokesperson said that Silverwood's sales had lagged behind those of other Hartmark stores. In total, the 36 stores up for closure had combined sales of $40 million, according to the company. The primary reason they left the Southern California marketplace was that they had experienced declining sales and rising occupancy costs, i.e. the rents, in their last years. Silverwood's specialty, conservative suits for the workplace, contributed to its downfall, said apparel industry insiders. They had been merchandising to a non-existing customer base for the last 20 years. They totally missed the sportswear revolution, so they were out of sync with the Sunbelt lifestyle. It was as if management had never walked into a Gap, a casual clothing store. One analyst said Silverwood's prices were too high for a region that dresses in sport jackets and khaki slacks. The average price for a suit there is $600. I've been watching Silverwood slowly sink into the Pacific Ocean for some time now. Silverwoods had been a familiar name around Southern California for nearly three quarters of a century. By 1992, when the chain closed, Silverwoods had grown to a chain of 18 stores. So what do you remember about this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Yeah, bringing back memories from the good old days. That's super cool, man.